<clears throat> okay, let's take a walk around this uh, rather high spec Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI genuine factory county station wagon. Um, on an end plate, it's, I think it's a 1996 this one, it's not the 95 or 96. Been repainted in the original Rioja Red metallic, uh, been resprayed. Um, and this one is a one, two, three, four, six seater. It's got um, three seats across the front two sideways facing seats in the back it would normally have and the other side the seats have been taken out and replaced with a Exmoor trim forward facing seat with headrest and three point seat belt so uh, much better for children. Um, <clears throat> got a good spec this one. Um, finished with a fitted with a matching set of uh, BF Goodrich all terrains matching set of five on boost alloys. Uh, what else does she have? Um, side steps, full, width, full length side steps Checker plate to the modesty covers and the wing tops. What else uh, externally? Um, looks like it's got sports exhaust on as well, actually. Doesn't sound like it, but it looks like it. Um, rear step, tow pack with electrics and mud flaps all round. Mechanically, it's certainly got a full width intercooler on it and the EGR valve has been removed. And inside, um, we've got a few little toys. Um, we've got a nice radio CD with um, uh, iPod capability. With a couple of little. There's a blue, a parrot Bluetooth thing as well, and a temperature gauge, which is a bit irrelevant. It's outside temperature gauge. Um, and we've also got a lowered rear bulkhead, so you get slightly better room for the driver and front seat passenger. And this is the um, the seat which is folded up at the minute, but when it folds flat it goes down there and that's the backrest there and it faces forwards. Um, there we have it. Right, let's go around and pick out some... Oh, it's also got a um, swing away spare wheel carrier on it and um, NAS spec, North American spec, rear lights on it. So, nice uh, nice all round actually. Right, let's go around and pick out some, uh, some bits and bobs. As I say, has been repainted, don't know when, but... Uh, been done at some point and quite a nice job there's one or two blemishes on it here and there but uh, we'll pick those out around the front end and the bonnet all looks very very good a little bit of reaction just coming up there on the very front edge of the bonnet um, <coughs> excuse me uh, looking down the near side it's pretty straight actually down the near side all good in the wing department some electrolytic reaction just coming up on the vent flaps. Um, a little bit of paint loss just there on the vent flap and on the hinges as always. But scuttle corners all look good. A post all looks good. Near side door looks good. Inside here it's also been fully recarpeted in black. All the seats look to be in good shape. Headlining is saggy at the back. Um, not uncommon. Um, but it all looks good in the front there. Passenger door actually feels okay. Yeah, passenger door's okay, and it's not leaving a rust trail down there, so no movement in the hinges. We have got the um, uh, the window winder for the passenger door, and we will refit it. Um, near side rear wing all looks good. There is a sort of a what this is here, lots of little spots just along the barrel side, just on here on the back of the near side rear wing, almost as if it's had the sticker on and someone's taken it off again. Um, and a few spots down there as well, but no more than that. A bit of um, bubbling just here on the tub top trim as always. Around the tail end, there's a little tiny bit of reaction just coming up on the tailgate, in the usual areas there, there, down there, but not very much. And a bit just up here on the um, near side rear corner. But in the back here, so apart from the saggy headlining, it's all, um, it's all in very, very good shape. Tailgate is absolutely spot on possibly a new one actually but in, in great shape and looking down the offside looks like it's had a bit of touching bit of touching in just there um, obviously perhaps some reaction came up and they've just uh, painted over the reaction just there on the back of the offside rear corner but otherwise looking down the offside apart from the uh, seam on the barrel side on the driver's door it's all in very very good shape we'll come to that that's all nice offside rear wing uh, all good round there yes the the paint obviously it's um when it was painted it's uh, uh, got a bit damp in there and then wiped it off properly because the paint has lifted along the um along the seam here on the driver's door but otherwise it's all good 
big chip out of the driver's door there, just where it's opened up onto the A post, and another sort of uh, chip just there on the A post itself. Scuttle corner on the driver's side looks pretty good. Offside front wing is all very nice, but there's a touched in scuff just there on the offside um, uh, wheel arch eyebrow. Again, driver's door looks like this one has possibly been rebuilt. Um, but very good, and again, not leaving a, a trail of rust. Tiny bit of movement in the top hinge. Um, but inside here, driver's seat's all spot on. Um, yeah, all good. Nice car, this one. Um, that's about it, I think. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously, at cost. That's about it. End.